Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. On May 20th, 1865, Union soldiers read President Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation in Florida for the first time. The event is reenacted each year in Tallahassee. The Negroes are now free men. But many African Americans believe that a 158-page elections bill signed into law Thursday will do them more harm than good. I think that the Justice Department is going to weigh in on this. Basically, what you're doing is you're taking away uh, citizen rights uh, to uh, actually vote. Despite claims to the contrary, the legislation allows county supervisors to cut early voting in half to as few as eight six-hour days. Secretary of State Kurt Browning says that will save small counties money. I, I do not see that as a reduction of early voting. I think it's a good common sense approach to, to being able to not use this whole one-size-fits-all mentality. The legislation is being described as a proactive approach at fighting election fraud, but in recent years, only four cases have been prosecuted. Still another provision would give lawmakers a second chance if they write misleading ballot information for constitutional amendments. Elections law expert Ron Meyer successfully argued against several amendments last fall. And, and what this uh, legislation tries to do is uh, take away from the court the right to make sure that the people understand what they're voting for. The new law also makes it harder to change your address on short notice. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Vasilindo reporting.